which is about circles in the given figure AC is a diameter. AC. AC. This line AC is a diameter. It is passing through the center O. CD and BE. CD and BE. Now these two lines are parallel. Angle AOB. AOB is 180 degree. This angle is 180 degree. ACE. ACE. This small angle. This small angle is 10 degree. Calculate BEC. So first we will calculate BEC. BEC. This angle. Mr. CB, how should we calculate this? So angle ACB will be 40 degree. ACB will be 40 degree, right? So because it will be half of the angle that is. Uh, okay. So what you are saying is that uh, if there is a circle like this, and so we take the chord to be AB, basically this chord AB. This chord AB is making an angle of 80 degree at the center and this chord AB will make an angle of 40 degree at any point on the circumcircle uh, on the on the circumference of the circle am i correct yes sir so this is 40 degree okay next so angle d o c would be 100 degree angle d o c d o c will be 100 degree d o c will be 100 degree right so because uh, angle a o b is 80 degree That's so right. angle d o c will be 100 degree so this is a straight line we form a linear pair so this angle is 80 degree, this angle is 100 degree, so this is 100 degree, okay. Yes. Next, right, right. Now, uh, OB and OC are radius. So, so angle OCB is 40 degree, therefore OBC will also be 40 degree. Yeah. Correct. Next. See, if this is the chord, now BC is a chord. So as a chord, it is making an angle of 100 degree at the center. So yes. at the circumference, it will drop an angle of 50 degree. Am I correct? Yes, yes. So this angle is 50 degree. Great. What next? I need the angle BCD. BCD. How should I find BCD? Uh, so B, C, B, C, D. This angle. Basically, we want this B, C, D is an angle which is unknown. Now, if you look closely, we have already found 40 degree and 10 degree. Basically, this is the angle that we need to find. How do we find this? See, these two are parallel lines. This line is parallel to this. Am I correct? Yes. Now, when these are parallel lines, what I know is that this angle, uh, this would be the transversal. Do we agree to this? This is the transversal. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, if this is 50 degree, this would be 50 degree. Do we agree? This yes, sir. So, this total angle DCD. BCB would be sum of 50 plus 10 plus 40. Do we agree? Yes, yes. 100 degree. 50 plus 10 plus 40. This would be 100 degree. Great. Next, CED. CED. CED is basically CED is basically this angle. This angle. Have you understood? Yes. yes, sir. How should I find this angle? So, uh, this 
this is a cyclic quadrant. We know that this whole angle, this whole angle, plus this whole angle, this whole angle. This would be 180 degree, do we agree? Yes. This hole we have already found. This hole we have already found. This hole is equal to 100 degree, do we agree? Yes. yes. So we are this basically this angle would be 80 degree, do we agree? Yes, sir. This we already know. This angle, this angle is 50 degree. Yes, sir. So we are only left with 30 degree. 30 degree. Is there any doubt? No doubt. No. 